up you guys it's your girl Amore Destiny and y'all with another video um and today we staying in the house because it's cool it's getting ready to snow hence the name home vlog <laughs> but no your girl ain't going nowhere we staying in the house we about to get stuff done today is about to be a productive day like no excuses so I've been up since like 8 a.m. And I already had a pretty, uh, mm, pretty busy. I already had a pretty busy. Did I just make a word? Prizzy? <laughs> pretty busy morning? Okay. Okay, guys. So I already had like a pretty busy morning already. I've been up since 8. And I just want to be like in my day out being productive. I want to chit chat with you guys. And you know, add some self care, some affirmations. Just in my day outright because if y'all can see my room i don't know if y'all can really see it but it's chaotic in here it's a mess i don't even know how i let it get to this point i've been slacking on my self-discipline and my self-care because i know y'all can't see i got these little things on my clay mask on my face because i feel a little pimples coming up and that's from a lack of sleep like yesterday was the first day in a year that I actually had time to sleep. I finally just called off of work, like not called out, but I scheduled off of work because I had so much stuff going on and I had to make sure like I wasn't going to basically be exhausted. Guys, when I, I finally remember what sleep felt like, my job then lost me because I don't wanna work um, overnight every single day anymore. So if you don't know, your girl passed her CNA and then all today i was kind of bragging about it i was just like god bless because now that i know what sleep feels like again i can't work overnight every single day anymore like it's ridiculous i need the cna and the only difference is instead of working eight hour shifts every day i work my shifts in three days but that's better than trying to get up at 11 o'clock every single day i go to work from 7 to 7 30 and i only go from monday monday tuesday monday and yeah sunday monday and tuesday and i'm off wednesday thursday friday saturday so i have more time to make my little vloggy vlogs even though i've been making them everybody's always asking me how do i do everything girl i don't know i can't do nothing without the grace of the lord jesus christ because he's been getting me through these times because i really can't tell y'all how i do what i do he just get it done for me it's not through the flesh it's through the christ it's through the holy spirit because I really can't tell you or remember the days to give you that advice. But yeah guys, definitely just want to get some stuff done. I want to organize like my makeup area because I'm tired of it being a bucket. I recently just had like a breakout, like nothing serious I promise. But it's just like the lip gloss was not for me. So I'm kind of just throwing out all my makeup and starting over to really... I really like Fenty so I think I'm just gonna stick with Fenty because I tried to get like drugstore lip gloss and it, I don't know why I kept making my lips like flake and peel it's just not for me I'm just stick to what Rihanna say okay when it comes to makeup we gotta trust the experts because I'm not an expert my my bathroom is pretty messy I just called the maintenance people to come fix the toilet because I don't know what happened since I've been gone I just want to clean the kitchen and I know I'm rambling guys I'm sorry but I just want to like talk about self-discipline enjoy my presence enjoy today because everybody deserves a day off I not watch TikToks or like other cleaning videos to like get you motivated to clean like I said I've been lacking in my self-discipline this week and I don't know how I let my room get so bad and I really don't want to ramble because I know y'all want to see me get into the cleaning part but yeah I've been watching little TikToks I've been watching little videos that kind of motivate me into cleaning and learning new ideas but you know like I said we staying in the house that means no fast food either we about to cook <laughs> we about to cook we about to chit chat we about to do some self care and let me emphasize y'all on these nails okay we get back into that i'm getting off subject but yeah we're gonna cook we're gonna clean we're gonna get to some self affirmation watch me repeating myself i already said that but yeah guys let's really hop into this cleaning because i know y'all don't want to hear me talk the whole time <laughs> Okay. Oh, I don't want to step on him. No, my son's got a little white um, puppy. 
Yeah, sorry for the mess. I'm trying to clean up. All right, y'all. He just came to unclog my toilet. Apparently, I have to get thinner toilet tissue. No. Okay. Talking about it's an old toilet, so sometimes it doesn't adjust to the thicker toilet paper. <sighs> no, your girl gotta wipe herself properly. But back to cleaning. up the mess drop it in the water let the daughter find an image with the rest she'll be learning how to breathe spinning through identity reveal another pretty little scheme save her mind hold her hand and don't believe a lie you understand me walk her down the valley pack a piece of heaven for Y'all, I really don't understand why I have the cranberry juice out here, the cleaning supplies out here. I don't know what was going on in my head this morning, but you know your girl gotta have her cranberry juice. I don't I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened over here. Oop, camera needs to focus. Yeah, I don't know what happened over here. Apparently I wanted to light the candle, but never light the candle. Um yeah and then i can't even say what happened to this bathroom because i don't know what happened throughout the day but it just needs to be fixed hello goodbye okay so <laughs> yeah i don't know what happened but in the fact that my trash is this high oh it's not high it's just big stuff in it but yeah we gotta we gotta get this done because I don't know why the room is looking like this. And I know some people will be like, it's not even that bad. It just needs to be rearranged. But it's giving me anxiety. I don't like it. So. In bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach. Like the angels do. And you gon' make it through now. Tell about the healer. Greater is the one within a column as the leader. Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky. And I'ma wait up on the giver. He'll deliver like a dealer. Take her higher. Higher. Fly out the valley and the fire. Take her. Her feet for running show her every door and how the windows let the sun in 
copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming even in the fever baby cry and get to running and tell her that you better get your bootstraps up you're with the army ready when the truth act up nothing can harm me yelling from the roof i touch put up a guard and count to ten lion's den speaking with the higher pen can't be touched by fire that's forward to the grown things now I'm working on them soul things now, forgiving all your old ways, but it's harder on the cold days. Cold days. Never been a product of a flawless environment. Never acted like I'm higher than you, 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 you. And I still pray. Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away, yeah. Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away. Cause I would rather be, rather be running away. I would rather be, rather be running. Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away. God, you call me by my name The love you give me, I just can't deny Yeah. No longer blinded, I can see you I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you When weary of my flesh You awake me from death God, I need you no more walking by the flesh, that's when I live. God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, know that I'm someone, no, I'm a child of God. I wanna go to Godly way, close to your love again, I give my heart again, Jesus. I wanna go to Cali way, close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I know you know me well. I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here. I cancel plans with you to be with sin and break your heart. Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are. I wonder if you leave for me. God, just tell me what you need for me. Is the Holy Spirit still in me? God, I'm asking you for clarity. Even though you told me already. God told me I'm someone. Told me I'm someone. Told me I'm someone. Told me I'm. Told me I'm. Told me I'm someone. Told me I'm someone. Know that I'm someone. No, I'm a child of God. kind of driving I was turning that to some non-church music and my car caught on fire and I couldn't the brakes gave out um, my car caught on fire it starts smoking on the inside I was praying to God in a time that I didn't even panic I kind of just let it take the wheel if it was my time to go I was going through a bad time in my life my journey started there because I could have been dead in a ditch blowed up or everything my car stopped working but the radio never stopped and guess what came on church music and of course my kiki weinstein um no is it kiki i forgot who sings it um sorry about that but it was something about the name jesus something about the name jesus it was the sweetest thing I know it wasn't even on the radio y'all it was on my phone knowing this is nowhere in my Apple music I was on the aux my car stopped I jumped out that's the first song that was still playing I was playing trap Cardi B whatever I was listening to something the car the whole when I mean the whole car cut out but that's the song that decided to come on once I flipped out and the car just stopped and I was having a bad day that day. I had a lot of things going on. 
and I just took that as a sign. I just start going to Joyce Myers. I start changing my life. I stopped letting things get to me. I stopped. Like it didn't. I want to say it didn't happen immediately, but it was. It was the time where it was trying to change my life. And I wish people would understand. You don't just change in that day saying, "Oh, I'm going to praise. I'm going to this." You just when you lash out, you start thinking, I didn't mean to do that. Let me go apologize to this person because I don't know the type of day they're going through. But I know it wasn't right for me to lash out because I need to control my feelings. And self-discipline starts with self-control. And people don't understand that. You can't have self-discipline without self-control. It's about controlling your emotions. Knowing what and when everything needs your time your presence and your energy because not everything needs your opinion not everything needs your time and not everything deserves your energy and that's where it started so even though i was learning how to do that i was going through stuff with my family going through stuff with my mother and i was allowing all that negative energy to just pull me back in this is what i'm saying i can't clean the talk but i was allowing all that negative energy to pull me right back in where i started and then i started going to bible study and it's just like I need a plan. What is my smart goal? Remember my whys. Remember why I'm here. Don't let anything distract me. So that's what I start doing. But self-discipline is also understanding that self-discipline is a fruit of the spirit, not the fruit of the flesh. That means we cannot do anything without God. You cannot have discipline without God. And if you don't have any discipline, God is going to make sure you have it. Life is nothing without discipline. So if you think that God is not listening and you not, like when somebody do you wrong, you think, why can't you discipline? Remember, revenge is for the Lord. Everybody gets what's coming to them, whether it's good or bad, but it's not for us to be responsible. Because that's how we get off our spiritual walk. When we're focusing on what everything else is doing, everybody else is doing, we're walking off the path that was given to us. So I always tell people that you have... Fruits of the spirits. It's important to read your Bible and understand that fruit of the spirit is for the spirit is not for the flesh. The flesh is going to have desires. And I feel like as Christmas as Christians or even people that are starting your journey, if you're a spiritual leader, is important because sometimes our desires and our sins can master us. It can master the flesh. Life is not about always being comfortable. And I'm just getting this all from Bible study because sometimes we allow worldly things to compromise with our walk of the spirit. You get what I'm saying? If we don't have discipline, that's why we have alcoholism, drugs, addictions. We're allowing that stuff to get to us instead of having self-control. And I don't want to hear, oh, I don't have control. I can't control myself. That's absolutely wrong. You can control your emotions. You're choosing not to. You can control your actions you're choosing not to. Sometimes people always ask me, how do you remember to read your Bible every day? Do you ever forget not to eat? See, when you hungry for something, you always gonna want it. You're always gonna strive for it. We have to understand why. And people may say, because your body needs it. Your body needs the Lord. You can't live without the Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit. So if I don't never forget to eat, I never forget to watch my Joyce Myers. I never forget my Bible is self-discipline. You discipline the mind, not the flesh. And that's what people need to understand. Just like when I'm telling myself I'm always hungry, if you want to lose weight, you have to discipline your mind. You're not really hungry. You just want food. You just ate three hours ago. And that's how a lot of people in the athletic world, we're trained to say, we eat this time, we eat this time, eat portioning. You have to train your mind, not your body. The flesh is always going to be eager to do something because that's what the flesh is. It's based on this world, but our spirit is not. So, self-discipline is just important. Sometimes you have to go to the extremes to remind yourself. Like, I, I um, read one of my Bible study members. She said she had to go to the extreme so she wouldn't eat because she really wanted to lose weight. But she understand that she liked to eat. So since she liked to eat, she didn't fill her house up with sodas. Even though it took her discipline not to go in the store and want to buy sodas and everything. She removed all the sugar for her house. Because then when she was hungry, what did she had? She only had fruits. She only had crackers. So that's all she could eat in her house. She only had water. And the only discipline part is that every time she went out with her friends, she didn't drink juice. But when her flesh kept telling her she was hungry, she's hungry. 
she removed when i mean she removed all the toxic things all the desires all anything that could stop her from her journey she removed it from her house this child then lost 20 pounds and i clapped it up for her because some people keep saying oh i can't lose weight no you're choosing not to sometimes you have to go to the extremes plus she saved money but sometimes you have to go to extremes to get where you need to be and that's what some people just need to realize because girl we live in a world where everybody always want to blame something on mental health like i don't know if anybody heard about the shooting that just happened at joel Osteen's, which i just think is so crazy because you know, you never would think somebody would try to shoot in Joel Osteen's mega church, but I know a lot of things are going on. And when me and my father were talking about it, I was just like, that's so wild. She went in there with a child. So I guess they accidentally um, had shot the child, but she came in there with a child, an underage child, and they were injured. Um, the update is that she was killed, um, but two people were shot. And I just feel as though everybody puts everything on mental health <sighs> now mental health is there i'm not saying anything about it some people do have mental health but i feel like you should seek help for yourself now why are you out here trying to shoot up a church service and i'm just like that's crazy we're people of spirit we're coming there to seek help and we came and go to places to seek help because how bad this world is that's what i mean by they say that jesus is coming y'all gotta get yourself right i don't care what y'all believe in but this world is going so down bad that sometimes you have to find the happiness in life and if that's finding your face being reborn you have to do it y'all i'm really scrubbing the mess out of my sink i I'm telling you, when I get into my stories, things be the whitest. Um, but yeah, I even saw this thing on TikTok. This lady was praying. And the two girls, while she was praying, it was a distraction. One was on the floor. Of course, her head didn't. The other person went into her bag and stole her wallet. You would never think you can't even go to the um, praise and worship just to work. Like, you have to be in the safest place and that's why a lot of us don't go to church anymore and i know i was talking to um my group today actually about false prophets that's why um a lot of people are just scared to go into religion because everybody's doing it for money now it's like a status to be a christian but if you ask these people why do they do it what do you do like nobody has an answer for it um i like to tell people i'm spiritual and walking because I still listen to the music I listen to, but I know the rights and wrongs and what I want to do. But I don't call myself the Christian because of Christian values. I don't support every Christian values. I feel like I want to get there maybe, but I know the life I live and I don't want to kind of be a stereotype. So I always say I'm spiritual. I follow the path. I try to follow a path of righteousness to get closer to Jesus, but I just don't follow their path. Um, and my life is still good however I just feel like everything's blamed on everybody's actions like nobody res is um nobody is responsible for the way they act anymore and it makes me so upset because you have 30 year olds 30 year olds that said they have mental health for the longest of your life and you just decided to be 30 and go shoot up a high school to go shoot up a bowling alley like when are we going to start taking responsibility for stuff that we do and stop calling everybody mental it's not mental these people are are sick but they're sick like something's wrong with them not mentally they're just whew. sometimes the devil could give to you in many ways and sometimes i just believe in those little like um what do you call those like i don't know those theories those um conspiracies that the government is trying to um eliminate us one by one i'm starting to believe that because every shooting that comes up is always mental health i'm having mental health like everybody's going through mental health the world is messed up right now some of us just need to control some of us don't go out here just shooting people it's crazy you need to be in control of your emotion. That is self-discipline. And we need to hold people to that just like God holds us to it. 
sometimes it's not always blaming on your mind you need to get your mind right there's so many resources not just church counselors everything and i know everybody keeps saying like counseling doesn't work sometimes church doesn't work god has made someone for somebody it is something out there seek it stop trying to be by yourself and just thinking you're mad at the world you're mad at the world because you're mad at yourself everybody's hurt everybody's hurting in some type of way but sometimes the devil likes for you to be silent you can't suffer alone. You can't handle everything alone. You have to handle everything with the grace of God. And sometimes God is telling you, go to Bible study. Go to this meeting. Because you never know. It's somebody there that be going through the same thing as you. And they're just looking for somebody to listen. The devil wants you to be silent. And sometimes he does mute you. Because he's thinking, like, you're the only one out there. You, nobody's going through it worse than you. It's your fault. And sometimes that can just be the work of the demons in our mind. Nobody else is thinking that but you. And sometimes we get into our own mind. We start talking ourselves down. Go out there and talk. Find your way. Like YouTube is my way to talk now. It's my way to express myself. I go through a lot of family stuff. Am I comfortable sharing it yet? No. But I feel like I'm able to express more of my stuff knowing that I'm helping somebody out there. I'm able to express my Bible study, talk about my notes to YouTube. And it helps me every day sleep knowing that it goes off my chest. But yeah, that's all I wanted to hit up, guys. Okay, y'all, back to cleaning. so now that we're done with the hard part which is cleaning my room and the bathroom that's the parts that I feel like take me the most time to like clean I'm going to get some instacart so if you don't know what instacart is it's basically you order like people go and shop for your order at the grocery store and bring it to you now i know there's been some concerns like i don't want people picking out my food for me they don't know what i want instacart got you so on instacart they do send you pictures of the food before they actually check out so they can introduce themselves to you, you can call them, you can like literally ask them can you show me the food before you check out. So you can make sure it's everything that you want. So that's something that Instacart has added to stop those stereotypes and that rumor for going around. 
your Instacart shopper literally works with you. The only thing I do say, I do need to stay clear to my phone because they do have a timer. So your Instacart shopper does need to deliver you deliver your food to you by a certain time. So it is kind of tedious when you're asking them to show you every food. So it shows you a picture of what they're getting, but you can just ask your Instacart, Instacart shopper in the beginning to basically make sure that your food is this, 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 and that shop for the cheapest option but the best option and that's basically what i do so all you're gonna go is to the instacart app please you're gonna go on to the instacart app and it has all your selections in here that is closer to you so as long as it's not like 45 minutes away it will literally pop up it goes between your your location and you can change your location at any time so I like to order from Food Lion because Food Lion is just the best. I'm feeling some, maybe some cranberry, ginger ale, the two of my favorites. I don't need any doggy food today. Ooh, they got some canned Coca-Cola. The little mini canned colas kind of be hitting it for me. Just a little bit. Um, what else do I need? I kind of want some salmon but I do want some like sauce I want something I can really cook really fast I don't want nothing I need to prep a whole meal for y'all we gonna get some shrimp <laughs> and some cocktail sauce let's put that in there I don't know it's gonna take me a minute to order guys Okay, y'all, so I decided to get my cranberry ginger ale, some butterfly shrimp, and some steak and some string beans because I have rice sitting there anyways. Then you're just going to go to delivery. Oh my gosh, it's not going to be here to 9 o'clock. And basically, my total came up to $34. Um, But it's okay. Because, again, this is a home vlog. I'm not leaving out. It's cold outside. And I had a long day. So, Instacart just comes in handy when you have a long day. And you don't want to spend some extra change. Then, yeah. Down the valley, pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach, like the angels do, and you gon' make it through now. Tell about the healer, greater is the one within a column as the leader. Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky, and I'm a weight up on the giver, he'll deliver like a dealer. Take her Show her every door and how the windows let the sun in. Copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming. Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running. And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up. You're with the army. Ready when the truth act up, nothing can harm me. Yelling from the roof, I touch, put up a guard and count to ten. Lion's den, speaking with the higher pen. Can't be touched by fire, that's forward to the grown things now. I'm working on them soul things now. Forgetting all your old ways, but it's harder on a cold day. Cold day. Never been a product of a flawless environment. Never acted like I'm higher than you, 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 you. And I still pray, dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away, yeah. Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away, yeah. Cause I would rather be, rather be running away. I would rather be, rather be running. Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I.
Girl, you call me by my name. Hey, the love you give me, I just can't deny. Yeah. No longer blinded, I can see. I'm on my way to meet you. We gotta talk. Tries and tribulations got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you when weary of my flesh You awake me from death, God I need you No more walking by the flesh, that's when I leave you God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone no, I'm a child of God. I want to go to God anyway. Close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I want to go to God anyway. Close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I know you know me well. I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here. I cancel plans with you to be with sin and break your heart. Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are. I wonder if you'll leave for me. God, just tell me what you mean for me. Is the Holy Spirit still in me? God, I'm asking you for clarity. Even though you told me already. God told me I'm someone. Told me I'm someone. Told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, know that I'm someone, no, I'm a child of God. So yeah. I'm not like a makeup girly, but I hate putting all my makeup in like this bucket. So I'm probably gonna go to Target and kind of get an actual makeup bag. But I do have like this couture pad. Um, I used to do this because it teaches you how to like put it on. So this is how I'm like learning how to put it on. And it's like on the go. It's easy to put in like my, my bags and my purses. So I really like that. So, I do have this e.l.f. Let me show. Yeah, I do have this e.l.f. one. But I'm not really feeling it because every time I put it on my face, it just makes me look like greasy. It's not like poreless. So I'm not going to really... Maybe later. Maybe I'm not putting it on. I got to sit down for this one. So, maybe I'm not putting it on right. But it just like, when I like, like I'm putting it on, it just feels very greasy. It doesn't, it's like, it feels like sunscreen to me. And you know how sunscreen uses like that cast feeling? It kind of just does that. But I mean, I know a lot of girls rave about it, but it's just not it for me. Of course, my beauty sponges, I do have to clean these. I just, if you saw, I just finished cleaning my brushes. But I have so many beauty sponges. This is... An old lace wig glue but we're not doing lace in a minute for a while I'm trying to get more into like my natural hair I know y'all really can't see it because it's cut off oh my god but I'm trying to get more embracing my natural hair because I see a lot of girls talking about some why I can and I'm just being honest guys don't hate me in the comments they'll be like why do girls with loose curl hair can wear their hair just like I'm wearing but they're considered pretty and mine's like a mess um, I'm just getting used to just wearing my natural hair. Either it's straightened, but it's mine. Just with this good February month going on, I don't want to put on a lace. Like, embrace your natural hair. I'm letting it breathe. I'm oiling it. And I just love it. I just, un un like, I'm unapologetically love my hair. What are you going to do? If you don't like it, I love it. And that's all that matters. But we have some ultra, speaking of this, the styling glue which is still full, so we're not gonna throw it away. And we still got lace. I still have the Pro HD. I love this, okay? Cause, I don't know, it's a little brush. You just stick it in, stick it in, pat it on, I don't know. The OGs are always good. I don't get all that new stuff. This used to be a dollar growing up. It's $3.99 now, but you know, we love the OGs. 
and then i always go in with like a lighter concealer and i just love this concealer but i also have like a lighter version depending on the makeup look i got i want i'll use this to make it brighter but if i would just want to install i go in with this over top of the other one again i don't know what i'm doing so <laughs> yeah we got some lash glue and then i use this to contour i've seen girls contour their lips with this if i was not feeling it um of course i'm for now on sticking with fenty lip glosses like i said i'm not doing a drug store dollar store fenty gets me right and i like nyx too is that how you say it nyx yeah i love that but i'm definitely a fenty girl i just love her lip glosses like i can eat food that joint is still on my lips um but then i have my lashes these are the famous tiktok lashes that i got off of amazon because i'm an amazon girly i want to make sure my stuff is here the next day and this literally came the next hour <laughs> exaggerate that's why i have it and then i have these b mix lashes for my under like when i want to add bottom lashes b lashes are the best lashes we have some lashes so i'm gonna save for halloween because they're long and i can kind of put them at the bottom so i don't want to throw them away and i just realized that i'm a hoarder because i'm just ending up keeping everything in this box okay Boop. but it's a little bit more condensed a little more that i can put in my own bathroom so let's get into these perfumes y'all so before I show you my perfume collection, I'm going to take a mini shower and I'll be using my Peter Thomas Raw Sulfur Mask. I had this mask for over five years now. I don't use it consistently because it is a strong mask. I use it when I'm feeling breakouts or feel like my skin just needs some extra ingredients. I like to get in the shower with this mask to allow the ingredients in the mask to activate. But overall, I had this mask for about five years now and I still have a lot left. Now for this quick shower routine, I will be using my Dr. Bonner's Hemp Citrus Soap. Just because I want to make sure that I get everything off my body today because I've been so busy. Lemon just has so many exfoliating properties. It not only detoxifies the skin, but also clarifies it and allows the stimulating for new cell growth. That's why I love using lemon, especially when I go to the gym. It just allows my body to just saw off all that dead skin and sweat and leave me with glowy smooth skin for finishing and because dr bonner usually dries out my skin i will be going in with the frenchy cashmere cozy collection um i use this collection on my last shower routine i don't say this is my best hygiene product but i definitely like how i feel after using this product it doesn't have a strong scent to it i've been using it when my body feels a little dry or overexerted because it has niacinamide in it and niacinamide is just good for bringing back moisture into the skin so i love the way this body wash makes my body feel after my shower but i really don't like the scent it's so subtle i really just feel like it smells like a cleaning product but other than that it's just a good lather and it's a good product to use once in a while God you call me by my name the love you give me I just can't deny yeah. Now that I'm out the shower, I'll be going in with my mini skincare regimen, starting with exfoliation of my lips, which is very important during the winter times because your girl lips get chapped for some reason. Then I'll be going in with my PCA rejuvenating cream sorry serum i used this in my last video i absolutely love this serum every time i use it my skin is so glowy and moisturized when i wake up i typically only use it at night like my fenty sleep mask um but they overall do the same 
thing and give me similar effects it's just the pca is medical grade and it's just a little stronger but i do use them both to give me ultimate results but i just love how fenty makes my skin feel like this fenty mask i literally only have to put a drop on my hand and it makes my skin feel so silky soft and moisturized and both of them combined is just a holy grail part of my regimen of getting like dewy soft skin in the morning i know you guys are going to get sick of me but you know the lotion company for the number one lotion i use this every single day today i'm using the vanilla bean just because it's just a beautiful scent to fall asleep vanilla bean just makes me feel so cozy and just helps with my sleep cycle it's just a wonderful scent to smell at night not mentioning how it has your girl feeling baby soft during the night and in the morning you can't beat that okay guys i don't want to make this video too long you know your girl can go on for days rambling but i just wanted to show y'all my building perfume collection if you don't know me personally i was never a perfume girl but now i love perfumes i absolutely love smelling good not saying i didn't like to smell good back then but perfume has just been like my new collectible items these are just a few that I have that I just absolutely love, especially the Carolina Herrera. I wear that every day. Um, the Machino Funny. Um, I just got this out of Rainbow. You know, Rainbow and Marshalls be having some deals in some low-key gems. So definitely check out your local um, Marshalls or Burlington because they got low-key some good stuff. Of course, my favorite one is also the Jimmy Choo's. I get compliments every time I wear this, but this bottle is so expensive, so I minimize times I spray it. And of course, the Target Exclusive Mix Bar. I typically wear this to work just because I'm a healthcare worker, and this is very subtle to be around my patients, and they don't complain, and it's not too strong. But I did want to point out a new company called Okcha. Okcha, and I'm hope i'm saying that right it's like another dupe and my stepmom got this for my new year's gift because she knew that i like dossier but she was telling me to try this one out now y'all know i love a good package their packaging is so cute the bottle is so cute like this could be a really decorative item but i haven't tried it yet so i will review that for you guys and then this is just my lotion collection that i'm also doing and body sprays but this is another story because your girl just a smell good collectible person now All right, guys now that we're done that like i said i'm gonna go in with my carolina Herrera, and i don't spray a lot because i'm about to lay down and i just love to smell good even though i'm laying down and i don't know just smelling good is helping me fall asleep too y'all i swear it's every time i'm getting ready to lay down your girl gotta go out so i about to get dressed even though I just ordered my shrimp and stuff, my girls want me to come out because they just like, I don't never get a chance to go out. I'm always working and my butt was ready to face plant on that floor. So this home vlog just turned into a go out vlog. So y'all will be coming with me. Just here for the vibes. Like, this is how I'm going. Like, this is a basic look. They ain't getting nothing else out of me. It's almost late night. This is what they getting. And I wanted to go for the unbutton look because I really be seeing the girlies out here like with it. So it depends. I may butt button it up. I don't know. It look cute. It's giving me. I don't know what it's giving me. Nothing. Just lip gloss. It's giving basic. It's okay. Alright guys, so we went to this new place called Silk's Bar in the Towson area. Their drinks were okay. I'm not a drinker, so I wasn't interested in trying it. But from my friend's review, they weren't as strong and they were expecting them to be bigger. But it was okay. <laughs> I just got some water and we had some good talks catching up. And of course, planning Judy's birthday. She wants to go to Miami. And y'all know I've been to Miami before. And Miami is always good vibes and a good time. If you can't tell by her face, she was a little upset because we found out that the drinks were actually $15 each. And she was not impressed. But the food was overall mid. 
it was like needed a little bit more seasoning um so i decided to grab tria's um it was like a hot sauce mumbo sauce i don't know what it was but i added it to my salmon to kind of give it some flavor and some spice yeah i know i love spicy stuff but the asparagus was hitting the mashed potatoes was hitting my salmon could have been better but overall it was like a good um meal i didn't try like anybody else's food because i just wasn't into the vibes and the girls in front of us were kind of recording and looking at us so of course i was recording too i think they wanted to ask like what was my channel or anything but they were kind of just staring at us while we ate so i wasn't just feeling the vibes at that moment Overall, this wasn't giving, so we decided to bar heart to our favorite happy hour spot, 7 West. The happy hour started at 7 p.m., so we were just like, we might as well go. Even though they just paid for $15 drinks when the drinks over there was about 3 or 4 But when I come here, I always get the amazing crab dip and the boom boom shrimp. Like, this is my go-to plate. When I mean this crab dip, I don't play. I don't play about this crab dip like i'd be crushing this crab dip and that boom boom shrimp i mean bang bang shrimp is better but their boom boom shrimp it's okay but it just fills me up like seven west is definitely my spot but we just got a green turtle out here so i definitely want to go to their happy hour and their thirsty thursday and kind of check up the environment and the spot to see what everybody's been talking about and yes don't judge me i am that girly that you take the happy hour that does not order drinks i order the food <laughs> Um, they were like telling me like why aren't you drinking are you pregnant making all these jokes and guys going through my journey i just don't find interest in drinking all the time i can have me a good margarita but i really am a one and done but the food is what's giving like when i go to happy hour i'm just going for the food vibes not really to drink because i'm a lightweight and i'm just really trying to lose weight y'all but i'm proud of myself i drank water all this night and the food was a 10. all right y'all so I don't know what happened last night. I didn't get to finish my vlog, but your girl had so much fun last night. I came out here, passed out sleep because I had some good eats. I'm so proud of myself. I did not drink, self-discipline, because I told myself I wasn't gonna drink, but your girl has been sleeping so peaceful. I do have to do a few things today. I have community service, I have to answer emails, but yesterday was just like my day to myself really just having fun being in the house and even though i know a lot of people don't like cleaning i love cleaning so cleaning is relaxing to me i sat here with my dogs they watch 101 dalmatians that's probably why i was knocked out classic disney movies just make me ko like it just brings back so much joy and childhood spirit but yeah but yeah guys that is my stay my ironic stay at home vlog and i hope everybody has a blessed and wonderful day because like i said we're staying in the house because we're staying in the house because it's snowing and when it's snow days your girl is in but i also have community service so i gotta toughen it out but bye guys no such thing as a life that's better than yours